What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. I just want to introduce myself. My name is Cliff and basically I just wanted to kind of give myself a little intro before I really start and basically say what's up to all the YouTubers and things like that. Basically I came on here to inform and educate people about Oakley's and hopefully be able to answer questions and things like that because as um in the stores and stuff like that, I realized that a lot of people have questions. I just want to make sure that I'm able to get it out in a in a bigger view and answer more questions to more people that uh, people might have about Oakley's or anything like that. So to start off with my first video, um, I guess I'm going to review a, a, one of my favorite pairs of glasses. Um, one of the reasons why I am reviewing this glass is because of the fact that uh, I do a lot of fishing and things like that and I know there are competitors out there and no disrespect to them but obviously uh, I just want to come on here review it and also tell you why. So the first pair of Oakley's I'm going to review ever on this page is the King's Camo Fuel Cells. And the reason why I'm reviewing these is, first off, the fuel cell model is one of my favorite models. It personally fits my face very well. And another thing is because of the fact it has a fishing specific lens. And this is Oakley's shallow, uh, shallow blue lens. So as you can see, I got a good fit on my face, not too wide, not too big, not too small. I just personally like this model, this fits my face perfectly. Now one of the things you will notice is it is a lighter lens. It's got a bluish green and like a tungsten tint to it. And one of the better things about Oakley's fishing lenses that a lot of people might not understand or might not know is that Oakley, Oakley lenses are infused in a mold. Whereas other lenses such as other companies, they like to glue their lenses like yes they use glass but they like to glue their lenses and their polarization together and basically what that does is, is that causes eye strain and also too that causes um, any type of headaches another thing about Oakley lenses using for fishing as opposed to let's just say Costa's is that you're using a plutonite lens so it's yes it's kinda technically a plastic but it's lighter on your face and I've noticed with Costas that when you have them on, the bridge of your nose starts to hurt uh, because of the fact of the weight of the glass. Yes, the glass is not going to scratch as easy, don't get me wrong. But um, if you take care of your lenses, you shouldn't have a problem with that. And you're going to get a way more comfortable fit wearing Oakley lenses, especially when you're out there all day in the heat. So another thing with these, uh, with the Fuel Cell King's Camo, these are not made in the USA, which I know a lot of people... They tend to care about that, whether it's made in the USA, whether it's not. Uh, me personally, I do care whether it's made in the USA or not. Um, but there are, you know, newer models that are nice, such as the King's Camo that unfortunately didn't come around when they were still making Oakleys in the USA. The lenses are still made in the USA, though. A lot of people don't know that. They still, the lenses still are made and cut in the USA. It's just more so the frames now with the O matter. That they are uh, that they're not made in the USA anymore. Basically, the pattern on them is called King's Camo. It's basically uh, a specific type of camo from a certain company. And as you can see, some of it it says Woodland Woodland Camo. Um, all of them aren't exactly the same, which makes it nice and unique and things like that. You know, I just looked at one and I was like, oh, I like it because it has a little bit of the orange in the front right here and things like that. But um, it's kind of nice though. When you put them on, you kind of get of like an orange uh, tungsten look to them. But when you're looking in the water, these are really good for fresh water. When you're looking in the water, um, everything just pops like crazy. And obviously these are polarized. There's no difference as far as contrast and quality with the lenses than compared to other fishing specific models uh, or companies, I should say. So if you look through the lens, you can see right there, it's kind of like an orangey tint. Um, and obviously, like I said, they are polarized. So 
It's a good fit overall. I mean, Oakley does use the three-point fit system. If you don't know what the three-point fit, fit system is, it's basically Oakley uh, sunglasses only rest on your nose and right above your ears. As so. They do not put strain on any other part of your head, so basically you don't have any types of headaches or anything like that. I can tell it's on my face easily, but I don't have to worry about it pushing down on my nose or pushing down on my ears or squeezing my head or things like that because the good thing about Oakley is they do flex. I did notice that there aren't a lot of videos or a lot of reviews on this glass and on fishing, especially in the Oakley department. So I wanted to come on here and basically uh, make a new video and uh, let people know who I am and that I'm definitely going to be reviewing a lot more glasses as they come. I do have tons of glasses to review. Uh, they might be reviewed before, they might not. I, I just want to give people my perspective and see maybe if, you know, I can answer any type of questions or anything like that. But anyways, thank you guys, and uh, I'll see you soon.